Hey there! In this video, we'll create a quick and simple to-do list web application with the ABP framework, but we'll be using the minimalist single layer template. For this version of the video, the UI framework is going to be MVC, and the database provider is going to be MongoDB. Let's get started. So this is what we're trying to build. It's a very simple to-do list application, and we can type in, for example, feed the cat buy some milk and for example clean the house so we can type in we can get the list and we can also delete let's get started now the first thing I'll do is installing the CLI I'm gonna copy the install command and I'm gonna open a terminal and I'll paste it right here and as you can see it's already been installed next up I'm gonna navigate to the desktop and I'm going to create a new folder right here and I'm going to name it to do app. Same name as our application. And I'll navigate to it. And then I'm going to copy this command to create the application. As you can see, it's a no layers template, which is the minimalist single layer template. And the database provider is MongoDB. And the UI framework is MVC by default. All right, let's open it up. Here it is, let's run it. And as you can see, it's a minimalist non-layered solution and everything is in one project. We don't have the same layers as before. And so let's copy this command and let's put it in the root directory so we can create the database and see the initial data. This is the root directory and I'm gonna open a command prompt right here and I'll paste it right here. And now we can run the project to see how it looks before we do anything. And here is our single layer template. Let's log in. So this is how it initially looks. We have our UI right here and we have the administration section right here with both tenant management and identity management. So for the tenant management, it allows you to create a whole other tenant with its own identity management for both users and roles. Or you can use your own roles and users that you have in your administration tenant right here. And we also have our project settings. So let's stop running the project and get coding. So the first thing we'll do is defining the entity. This application has a single entity and we'll start by creating it. I'm going to copy this to do item class and we're going to create it in the entities folder. So let's find it right here. Here is the entities. And I'm going to create the class right here to do item. And I'll paste the code right here. It'll inherit from basic aggregate root and good is the primary key. Next up is the database integration. We're going to find the to do app db context class and we're going to add this property to it. We're going to find the data folder to do app db context right here. And we can add the property right here. Let's import the missing references. And then let's copy the mapping code. And we're going to add it to the create model method. This is the create model method right here. We're going to add it right here. And by that, we've mapped the to do item entity to the to do items table in the database. Next up is creating the application service. An application service is used to perform the use cases of the application. And we need to perform the following use cases in this application. As we did in the example, getting the list of the to-do items, creating a new to-do item, and deleting an existing to-do item. And so let's create the DDO class before we start implementing these cases. Application services typically get and return DDOs instead of entities. And so let's create this to-do item DDO class under the services folder and then the DTOs folder. I'm going to copy this. And here is the services folder, and here is the DTOs folder. We're going to create it right here. To do item DTO. And let's paste in the code right here. It's a very simple DTO class that matches our entity with both the text and the good. And now we're ready to create the application service class and implement it. And we're going to create it in the services folder. I'm going to copy it from here. And here is the services folder to do app service. 
and we'll paste in the code right here. So this class inherits from the application service class, which will help us implement these use cases, getting the to-do items, deleting a to-do item, and creating a new to-do item. And now we're ready to implement the methods right here. Let's start with the getting the to-do items method. And let's paste it right here. And let's import the missing references. And the next method is creating the to-do items. Let's copy it. And let's paste it right here. And finally, deleting a to-do item. And let's paste it right here. Now, ABP provides default generic repositories, and we've used one right here. We've injected the I repository, which is the default repository for the to-do item entity, and then we've used its methods right here. The get list async, insert async, and the delete async. These are all standard repository methods to deal with the database. And now we're ready to code our user interface. Let's start with the index.cshtml.cs. I'll copy the class from here. And I'm going to find it right here. And I'll paste it right here. Now, this class uses the to-do app service to get the list of the to-do items and assign the to-do items property. And we'll use it to render the to-do items on the Razor page. Next up, let's copy the index.cshtml. And let's paste it right here. We're using ABP card tag helpers to make a simple card view. You could still use the standard bootstrap in HTML structure. However, ABP tag helpers make it much easier and safer. And we also have some scripts and styles right here, so let's implement them. Let's copy the JavaScript code. And let's create the JavaScript file right here. index.cshtml. And let's paste it right here. So for the first part of the code, we've registered to the click event on the trash icon near the to-do items. We've deleted the related to-do item on the server and showed a notification on the UI, which says that this to-do item has been deleted, right? And we've also removed it from the DOM, so we wouldn't need to refresh the page every time we delete something. And on the second part, we've created a new to-do item on the server. And if it succeeded, we would then manipulate the DOM to insert a new list item element to the to-do list. And this way, we wouldn't need to refresh the page every time we create a new to-do item. And last but not least, the CSS. Let's copy the code. And let's add it right here. And by that, we can run the project. And here is our little minimalist application of the to-do list. Let's add something. Let's say to-do item one, to-do item two, and three. So we can type in, we can get the list, and we can also delete. Now, the interesting part that we don't have much time to explain in the video is how we actually communicate with the server. Read this section for more information. And that's how to create a minimalist single layer to-do list web application with the ABP framework using MVC and MongoDB. See you next time.